Probably the most universally respected college basketball team in recent years are the Buckeyes of Ohio State University. Under Fred Taylor, basketball's coach of the year in 1961, the Bucks have racked up Big Ten Conference and national championships and one full season in top flight competition without a loss. Ohio State uses the fast break as a major offensive weapon. Here is Coach Fred Taylor to show and tell you how it's done. The fast break is one of the easiest and quickest ways to score. It doesn't just happen in game situations, though. It takes practice. Let's take a slow motion look at a good fast break. First of all, you must control the defensive boards. Then the action must not be marred by excessive ball control errors. Finally, the fast break gives you numerical superiority over the defense down court, providing a quick and easy score. For demonstration purposes, let's use our white team as the offense. First of all, individual skills. A speed dribble can advance the ball up court more rapidly than two men passing the ball between them. Unless you're challenged by the defense or your teammate is ahead, you don't pass off. The fast break usually terminates with either a lay-in or a jump shot. One of the ways to increase fast break potential is through the use of a simple two-line drill. Since basketball is a game of habit and reaction, we incorporate a simple look back to the middle with each drive to freeze the imaginary defensive man. In the jump shot, you should use a high jump. Many shooters use a sort of a broad jump instead. When your body moves forward in your jump, you are not under control. You frequently make a foul and miss a shot. It is imperative that the jump shooter get his body under control so that his momentum will not carry him into the defensive man. When you get right down to it, basketball becomes a one-on-one -on -one game. The defensive man tries to protect his basket, and it's your job to score. The properly executed jump shot is a deadly weapon. Little backcourt men aren't the only good jump shooters. In our system of play, and particularly in the fast break, it is important that our big men be just as successful jump shooter as In an actual game situation, a good fast break begins with a sweep of the defensive board and ends with a cleanly executed jump shot. Let's actually build a fast break, starting with two men. When the single defensive man will not commit, the dribbler takes the ball all the way in to score. Let's emphasize what we call the look back to the middle. When our players drive for the basket, we have them always turn their heads to the middle of the court. This movement implies a pass off, and the defense must react to it. While he is momentarily taking the fake, the lay-in is made. Another look at this maneuver emphasizes the split-second edge you get when you look to the middle pulls defensive man off target. Constant practice makes this almost automatic. In a similar two-on-one situation, the defensive man will sometimes challenge you. When he does, a simple pass-off to your teammate gives him a clear drive for the basket. It is imperative that the man with the ball make the defensive man commit. In a clip from another game situation, the fast break gives us the numerical advantage down court and a basket. Fast action like this takes a good bit out of our players, of course. Back in our dressing room, they relax with bottles of ice cold Coke. We have found at Ohio State that Coca-Cola gives our men the quick energy and the little extra lift they need at half times and after practice. Tastes pretty good to the coach, too. 
Now let's add a third man to our brake pattern. Although we normally do not weave on a brake, we found this drill to have a great deal of merit to improve our ball handling, passing, dribbling, and last but not least, our physical conditioning. Another familiar pattern finds two defensive men in tandem. Your fast break has moved three men into the offensive court with the ball on one side where we like it. Sometimes the defense will not commit and you get an unobstructed drive to the basket. As you have practiced it so many times in daily drills, you automatically fake a possible pass off with a look to the middle. It works and the score is all yours. When the defense does challenge, a pass to the middle man gives him a jumper. When your team is always ready to employ the fast break at the proper times, the word gets around. That gives you a psychological edge in addition to the numerical advantage obvious in this sort of a situation. It takes heads up play, smooth ball handling, and good conditioning though to set up shots like this. Constant practice of sound fundamentals pays off in a game. Fast break, three on two situation, two points. If the defensive man at the basket is aggressive, it is apparent that an easy two-on-one situation will result. As long as our offensive strength equals or is better than the defensive balance, we allow relative freedom of shooting on the break. The only restriction which we place on this is that the shooter must be under complete control. Frequently, the fourth man can enter the break, serving as a trailer and cashing in on a good percentage shot. The trailer is normally about eight to 10 feet behind the first wave of the break, splitting the difference between the ball and the middle man. When the pass comes back to him, he may either drive down the lane or take his jump shot. Now, let's use the full team. Individual capabilities will decide how much the fifth man will be in the break. The defensive rebounder will not usually be a factor at the scoring end. However, each man's responsibility in the fast break starts with the blocking out his assigned man to keep him from reaching the offensive board. A good rebounder makes block out contact with his man before going to the ball. Then, the turn and the throw. Basketball is a team sport, and unless every man does his job, you won't go far. Check the difference in these next two shots. In the first, all of our men in white are doing an effective job of blocking out their opponents. This gives us the rebound and the start of the break. When only one man the defensive man out on top leaves too early, the other team can regain possession of the original shot attempt and go in to score. Blocking out is each man's responsibility as a team may not break until it gains possession of the ball. This then is the fast break, your easiest and quickest way to score when it's properly practiced and properly used. After interception of a pass, a stolen dribble, or a defensive rebound, the team in good physical condition may use this weapon as a constant threat to its opponent. As a real team effort, the fast break teaches different men with different talents to work together successfully for a common goal and that goal is frequently worth two points on the scoreboard.